Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale foamy jets. And we're going to keep working on our SR71. And this is what we got so far. Uh, if this is the first time watching the video, I suggest you to go to the to my channel and look for the first video of it. So you can see how we got the, the scale in part. How we scale this piece of paper up into that big piece of paper right there that we're about to start cutting. As you see guys, it's only half of the plane. I already have it taped down to the foam. Uh, basically what I'm going to do now is start marking the points, the main point that we're going to be cutting on. And I'm only going to mark the curve on it and the, the straight lines. I'm just basically just marking at that, you know, because it's not point of marking the whole line. We don't really need the whole line, you know. Uh, I'm do marking the ones that are short though. There you go. Marking this corner right here. I just go ahead and mark the whole nose right here on this intake. As you see, it's actually turning out pretty nice, I think. Uh, I also think that the SR71 actually is more like a, how is it called? A, a flying body. How is it? I don't even remember how they call. How are they called? A lifting body, that's what it's called, a lifting body. Because as you see, it's basically not much wing on this thing, just the outside and the inside. The whole thing is a fuselage. Uh, this part right here, my friends, I actually recommend you to, to try to mark this fuselage into the foam too. Even though we're not going to cut it, uh, we are do are going to be using it as a guide to get the fuselage on the inside. So do your best to mark it, my friends. Uh, as you see right here, I just went my roller. Basically that's it. Now what I'm going to do, uh, don't get the tape, the whole tape off of it. Use this side of the jet. See right there. Getting the tape on the, on the outside off. If you can, just go ahead and peel it all off. If you can't, just leave it there. <laughs> and get it off later. You see I just flip it over to this side. And now let's do the same thing we just did on the other side. Let's secure this thing. my knife and start cutting okay guys our SR71 is coming along pretty good uh, as you see right there it's gonna be a very nice looking jet let me see if I can give you the full size of it uh, it's gonna be it's gonna have a nice size into it and it's gonna be a push prop on a Delta mix uh, okay guys uh, basically that is going to be some of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, real quick too, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, you know how, how, check how thick is this guys. Let's just go ahead and do the turbines very, real quick. Uh, measure this right here and look how thick is it. Actually, I have uh, two inches and three eighths. Uh, we're going to make circles here guys. That is the, what we're going to be putting our turbine. But uh, you need to take this on count. Uh, this right here is two inches and three eighths, right? But the circle is have to be one foot of an inch inside of each um, of, of each side, because you know the, where the foam is gonna be gluing into. So you give one four inch of an inch inside. Uh, I say one four because that's how thick my foam is. You know, uh, you see my foam is one four of an inch thick. It's actually a little bit less than that, uh, than one four of an inch. But I'm just gonna give it that. And then when you get this. You're going to measure how much you have on the inside and that'll give me one inch and seven eight. So then what you're going to need is going to grab, oh let me see where I put the pin. Turn, tools, 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 tools. I don't know where I put it, okay, okay, here is one. You know something like this to make the circle, it's actually very easy to do. So you're gonna find your radio of it. So it's one, what we say, one and seven eight. So you divide that on half, and then you go to your foam and mark a circle, you know. Okay, it's another one. Uh, the, your radio, I don't know where the radio will be, but the perimeter have to be one inch and seven eight. You know, you mark a circle like that. Uh, I don't think you can see it, and then just cut it. 
and you are going to end up with something like this right here. I, ha I already have some one cut, you know. You're gonna have a circle like that. Go ahead, grab your ruler, and do what I did. You see right here, mark a line on the middle, and after you mark that line on the middle, go ahead and give one eighth of an inch to each side of the line, or depend how thick is your thumb. Is your thumb is half inch? I mean, one fourth of an inch. You know, mark one eighth to each side, and then mark it right there, like you see right there, and then you're going to cut off the middle of of that thing off. No, go ahead, grab your ruler and cut the middle part off. Now, why to cut the middle part off? Well, because you, whenever you glue these things on, on place where they're gonna go, you don't, you know, you're gonna glue one on the top of the jet and one on the bottom of the jet. And in that way, you're going to still keep your nice circle, you know? So whenever you glue this one over here, and this one over here on the bottom, you still have a nice looking circle right there. You see right there? Oh, very nice. So, okay guys, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, I already have a bunch of them cut, as you see right here. Uh, you see at this point right here, I already have all the ones I'm gonna need. I'm actually going to be using four. Uh, on, you know, one on the, on the very end, one on the very front, and two on the middle. And the same thing is gonna be on the, on the top and the bottom of it. Uh, let's just go ahead and cut that. Go, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go cut the, the turbine, the actually turbine on it. Okay guys, let's do it. Hey my friends, uh, you see this is how far we got it right now. Uh, I actually happen to have some black duct tape and this is the one I'm using uh, to hang my alerons or elebons, you know. And as you see, I already glued these little pieces on place and I actually already glued this turbine on place too. And let's just go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to, how I did this. You know, and what the first thing you have to do is basically cut you a, a piece of foam right here, you know, like this right here long and put it a, you know, a small strip and put it around this right here, around your turbine, as you see I just did it and then just, just going to go ahead, let me get a pen right here and mark it, and you know how length, how long is it and you know, you go ahead on your table and cut it nice uh, with your knife and put it again to test it and you see if it's nice all the way around so now I'll just spread it out and see how long is it and that's going to be the length of this piece of foam that you are going to have all the way across and then just go ahead and measure from this point right here to this point right here you know and you're going to have the length of it and you're going to end up with a piece like this so now what you're going to do is mark a line on the middle of it and you know mark it all the way across and then on the inside of the, the, of the jet you mark another line that is basically the thick of your foam as you can see right here put it on one side of it and it's the thick of your foam uh, this line is where the vertical stabilizer is going to be located and goes on the inside of the jet as you see right here this is the left turbine you see on the inside of the middle line and on the right turbine on the inside of the middle line and it's where the vertical stabilizer is going to be located you know on an angle so anyway uh, that's it now i'm going to show you how to bend this foam if you are using this foam that i'm using the east dough you can get it at lowe's uh, basically what you're gonna do this foam is very easy to bend guys uh, leave the plastic on it on the inside and then a smooth part to the outside and just put a, a round piece of wood and start doing this you know this right here and as you see it's actually taking shape very fast and easy do this a lot you know until you get the shape you actually need uh, you can actually kind of overdo it so it will be easier to glue on place you know, uh, you see it's getting shape. Uh, it's pretty nice, very nice. Uh, I actually showed you already how to do this whenever I was building my Learjet 55 that you can see over there. And I'm actually still, you know, it's a, a waiting project right now because uh, I don't have the servos that I need. <laughs> anyway, uh, basically that's it guys. Uh, that's all we're gonna be doing today. Uh, you know, whenever you get this piece done, you just go ahead and do it on place. Uh, and you're, you're gonna have your two turbines ready. And you're going to do the same thing with the bottom of the jet, but don't do it yet, you know, uh, wait for it until we finish the whole top of it, and then we finish the bottom. Okay guys, thank you for watching, subscribe, see you next time.